Yeah, right now I'm making you privileged to a behind the scenes conversation with my twin, right? Shimon, I call him false balls, right? And what we're discussing here is what I consider um, why football sucks, why college football sucks. You know, it it sucks. It really does. This is, it's going to it's going to the toilet. And why I consider that it's going to the toilet is because of this thing called a transfer. There's too much. There's too much emphasis and preferential treatment given to people who have just arrived in a program and don't have a clue. Don't have uh, 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 just clueless to how the system works, how the the protocol, the discipline, everything that makes an offense or a defense, the whole entire identity of it. You come with these plug and play guys. Now you have no continuity. You have no rhythm. You have no identity. You have nothing. You're just like a bunch of carpet baggers, a bunch of no men's, you know, journeymen's as we used to call them. You know? And whenever you have that many transfers, you know, tr- transfers are like mercenaries. Like these guys don't have any loyalties to anything. They're not loyal to anything but themselves. They didn't. They're not like like even Ingram, who said from elementary school he wanted to be at Ole Miss. They're not like Mark Ingram, who jumped on a Greyhound bus from Michigan to play for Nick Saban. No, these see these transfers, guys. These, you know, they're. Thank you, Callaway. These are moochers. They are many, the moochers. And what we're seeing, guys, is the death of the all-star freshman. That's what we're seeing. And in this conversation, you see right here, my twins say, play the damn freshman. Guys, we're looking at the death of the freshman. She's right. She's right. And she's always been right. I told you, at, at at a certain point in life, I've learned to listen to wise counsel. And I've just been blessed to have very wise counsel. And when she says, yes, she says, play the freshman. She's just not saying that out of exasperation. She's just not saying it out of frustration. She's saying it out of understanding the history of LSU football. We have always had that freshman. All the way from Chad Jones, Tyron Matthew, Leonard Fournette, Tredavious White. We've always had outstanding freshmen. Fred, who remembers Clyde? Who remembers me screaming at the TV about Clyde Edward Hellair? Who remembers that? Play the freshman. Sadiq Charles. Who remembers Shimon Avol screaming about Sadiq Charles before anybody knew who Sadiq Charles was? Play the freshman. Put the freshman in the game. That's the same thing they're screaming at Texas. Play. They've been screaming at since that boy stepped on campus. Okay? These transfers will never listen to me. I don't care who transferred to your school. If they didn't have enough loyalty and love for the program that recruited them, that they could just pack up their shit and leave like that, you not bringing us nothing special? You're not bringing us anything. You know, that's like swapping our wives at the wedding. You're not not doing any great thing. Who does that? You You don't recruited these boys from high school and then you just bring in some random dude who don't know anything about anything, who who thrived in the system where he was once a freshman. And so what I'm not going to do is allow these new coaches to diminish, right, the power of continuity within a program. Because that's what's happening. These, these coaches, you got to understand about coaches. Coaches ain't shit, right? 
they don't they don't stick to anything. They don't believe anything. They shift and change with any blowing of the wind. If they see somebody else doing something at work, they're just going to automatically jump on it. They copy back in the 80s used to call it jockey my style. Right. That's what they do. They jock each other's styles instead of being originals and creating originals. Saban used to have people in that program for five years waiting for their turn, waiting. Then this new thing came. I see why he left. I see why I see why why Nick Saban stuck two fingers in the air like at a Baptist church. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Let me get by you. Excuse me. Can I get by you? He went all the way down the pew, got to the aisle over there, and went straight out the door. I understand why Saban left. Because he saw it. He saw it. It's the destruction of an institution. These programs are going to become unrecognizable. You think you don't know these players. Now, you're not going to know any of them. Every time the announcer says somebody's name, he has to mention a transfer. I was listening. I was watching a game the other day, and it was Pitt. And somebody made a play, and the guy said, in the Alabama transfer. And I'm like, well, damn. Did Alabama have any players left? Or did they all transfer? Well, damn. You know, that's what it's like, guys. And I hate it. As an as the as the orthodoxy of the SEC, as one of the founding fathers of this SEC, I hate it. Yes, I was wrong. I was one of the people who was who was championing this idea. I was the first to put out a video to say I was wrong. Now that I see what it is and how it is and how it works, I hate it. I, I absolutely hate it. Vols boss is right. Play the freshman. Play the freshman, not the transfer that you got from Colorado. Play the freshman. You got guys now who have been to four schools in two and a half years. What the hell is going on? This is this is really now not about an education at all. It's purely about where can I transfer to to start? No, no, no. Stop this shit. Stop it. Lead, lead these little pissy pamper ass transfers. We're in the portal. Let they ass stay in the portal until they rot. And you continue to do what LSU has always done. Play the freshman. Thank you, Vols Boss.